all right, bet. It's been a long time coming. But we're going to go through this workout rough and raw. Super pause. All right, so here's the concept. We're building our vertical leap, our explosiveness. Um, and in that, you know, the traditional squats, deadlifts, power cleans, all the things that build explosion. Um, as you know, I'm the remix. You already know. Uh, but one of the highest jumpers in the world won heck of dunk contest. Um, at the age of 40, I did sustain an injury, a meniscus tear, and took me out for a little bit. In that, I lost a lot of explosive mobility um, and was a jumper for a while, so I was floored. Crazy. Um, didn't go under the knife, didn't get surgery, but I decided to uh, pretty much take it upon myself and build myself back up, which was painful, pressing, all of the above. Um, but a lot worked out because you learn a lot while you're down. So upon training, I was going with the traditional workouts. Um, I was overloading, uh, progressive loading, um, with squats and deadlifts, and just getting a lot of reps in. Came across a study. Uh, it was amazing. And this is the thing about anybody who is just a gym rat or just a enthusiast. Um, love the explosion, so I'm always studying different athletes, uh, different sports, and just seeing how they train with explosion. A particular athlete wasn't even in any type of like, you say basketball, football, baseball, uh, what we call sports. It was karate. It was Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy, sorry. Bruce Lee. He did this thing called overloading isometric which is amazing and in fighting he was able to generate so much explosion and power in a small space and how he did it was he was able to push pushing against resistance that didn't move all right he was able to recruit quick twist muscle fibers and also explosive ability all in a small space so just for example pushing up against the wall as hard as you can. It's like almost bench pressing your max, but sustaining it for a longer amount of time. Um, and that's the most amazing concept because sustaining that much pressure against an object that doesn't move, uh, you are recruiting as many explosive muscles and quick tissue muscle fibers in that space. I took that as him being one of the most explosive, powerful, explosive athletes in his style of training. Why don't we apply that to the vertical leap? So with this, here's a study. And here how this workout's gonna go. Uh, we're gonna do the squat, but with his explosion. Um, but what I want you to see is during the squat, it has a resting period, and then it has a period where your muscles are actually working and generating power. There's a small window, a small window where your body's actually recruiting that explosion in muscle fibers. That's the reason why you do so many reps. So you can get to that small window and through it, to that small window and through it. And you load the weight because we all know the more resistance that you can apply to that position, the more explosion you're gonna get in that position. But what if we take that position that is recruiting the muscle fiber, that small window where that explosion happens, and we put an isometric concept on it, overloading it, where it doesn't move, but we are pushing through. And this is like max, hitting our max, but holding it for a longer period of time, which is going to recruit more muscle fiber, explosive muscle, production um but not only that every time you're in that position your explosion is ready to happen so enough talking let's get to it um a couple things a couple caution, cautionary things is that one um this is like hitting your max so we all know when you're max lifting um you definitely got to take precautions proper form fundamentals um two is that you gotta listen to your body. Gotta listen to your body. 
because a lot of injuries can happen when you're nonchalant and not listening to your body. Um, and three, three is in order to get this explosion to work, you have to be able to use a proper form, which is with this exercise, you already know my trigger muscles are your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your abs, right? So all those are gonna be engaged and we're gonna use those to go through this first set. This is how the split goes. Split's gonna go, um, my first set only gonna hold for five to 10 seconds. Five to 10 seconds on the isometric hold in the squat position. As you can see, the position is only gonna be in the explosive position, which means I'm gonna be in my athletic position. Um, here comes a little bit of difficulty when it comes to that. As you can see, I'm here on a Smith machine. Um, so I did rig the barriers to the point where it's only limit to me to a certain position. And that's where I'm gonna be able to push through to resistance that doesn't move. All right, so that's where your uh, creativity has to come in, or creativity has to kick in. All right, here's the first set. It's crazy. It's almost as if like you're in a position um, hitting heavy weight. And we all know we all been there when it's that little pause in between getting it from the resting point. I mean the beginning point to the finishing point, that in between. Uh, and that's what this exercise is replicating. All right. Another important thing is you're definitely in between when it gets some jumps in. And what this is going to do is just remind your body of what it's actually training for. If I could just imagine it building up the explosion, but then forgetting that you're doing this to explode, to jump. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of box jumps. This is called a cat landing. Like I said, it doesn't matter how high the box is. Um, all that really matters is that you're using full body movement. You're still using those recruited muscles. Um, to jump and you're landing when the cat landing um, Embracing on the way down and that's going to engage every muscle the most effective All right, about 10 second rest in between. Um, we're gonna get to the second set. The second set is just progressive. It's gonna be a progressive movement. And with this, I'm gonna go 10 to 15 seconds. Um, again, it's in the overloading isometric position. Recruiting those fast twitch muscle fibers and those explosive muscles to engage for a longer period of time during that window of recruitment. All right, here we go, 15. <clears throat>
All right, another tilt while doing this is that when you're in that position, mentally, you gotta be disciplined enough to stay in that athletic position. At times, your body wants to give out. You wanna let your, your ass loose. Um, you wanna round your back, adjust the bar. But the longer you can hold that athletic position, which is on the balls of your feet, you don't wanna be any tip of those. Balls of your feet, in between the heel. Um, you wanna definitely make sure that you're using the hammy, the hamstrings, not pressure on your knee. So one thing, especially with maxing, is that your joints are very vital. Um, you wanna protect those by engaging your muscles. Keep your abs tight which is going to uh, prevent any back injury. Um, I just want to stay tight. Imagine jumping. Oh. <clears throat> All right, last set, we're gonna go for 20 seconds. And again, uh, this is, the first time I did it, it actually floored me just because, imagine maxing out. Um, like I said, it's something that you want to incorporate into your regular workout. The power lifts are amazing. Deadlifts are amazing. Um, power cleans are amazing. Squats. So you want to keep that them reps on your daily regimen. But something that you just want to implement because this game, um, there's no new way to success. But you always want to have the edge. The edge is being able to um, learn something more, add something new uh, to your workout. That's all this game is about, the edge. All right, 20 seconds, five reps. Then we're gonna get into our stretching regimen because like I said, this shit's hurt, bro. It hurts. Nice last set. I'm not gonna overdo it. I mean, for y'all young cats, that'd be great. Workout. <laughs> but for me, reaching, reaching a certain age and then coming back from injury, like I said, listen to my body. It's like, I'm definitely building back to explosion. Um, you saw my previous videos. I went from barely jumping onto a phone book to getting back elbow over the rim. So I'm gonna get to the stretching regimen. I do recommend the foam roll. Believe you me, the best thing that ever happened to anybody who works out, plays sports. It's like a muscle iron. So if you know anything about it, uh, you definitely had the game. If not, I really recommend or advise you to look it up. Fall in love with it. All right, that's just for the episode of the Explosive Squats. Hope you got the concept of what I adopted into my workout regimen. Next video is going to be about the power deadlift. 
power dealer. <laughs> the deadlift, but with power. We're gonna use the same method. We're gonna see how I rig this Smith machine to allow me to use this method. That's gonna be dope as hell. Results are crazy. So make sure you like, leave a comment, ask some questions, and definitely subscribe. Till next time.